Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I will walk you through how to resign using the Workday mobile application step by step. So whether you are moving to a new opportunity or wrapping up your time at a company, doing it the right way what matters the most. So here I will also show you what will happen after you submit your resignation and how you can check the approval status. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end so that you don't miss any of the important steps. Also before proceeding make sure you check out the links of all the useful resources that are mentioned here in this video linked down in the description box below. So without further delay let's get straight into it. First of all, you need to just download and install the Workday application on your phone from Google Play Store or App Store. Then you need to launch it and log in into your account. You need to make sure that you are logged into the correct company portal using your employee credentials. And uh, then you will be landed on the main dashboard. Now over here in the main dashboard, you will see this cloud type of icon on which you can uh, click. So if you don't see the dashboard, you can check if you are using the right workday tenant for your organization. Uh, this particular cloud option will come when you tap on your profile icon. So after tapping on it, you will see this cloud icon. So simply tap on it. Once you do this, uh, you are going to see a bunch of different action tabs like uh, business process, compensation, job change, etc. So since we are dealing with the job, you need to tap on the job change option. Over here in the change my business title, you will see the resign option. So if the resign option doesn't appear in your case, your organization may have this action restricted so they can definitely manage it from their end so if that's the case you need to contact to the hr manually so let's assume that you have found the resign option so you need to simply tap on it then you will see this type of form in front of you where you need to fill out some of the details of yours so first of all uh, select the proposed termination date so here choose your final date of the last working day after that we have the primary reason option so tap on this uh, three lines over here and select from the drop down menu why you are resigning to the company uh, it can be like uh, uh, you have got any other opportunity somewhere else or a relocation or any personal issues you can select any of the options from here then you need to select your secondary reason you can select it and uh, you can tap on the three lines again and select the option over here you can see we have the comment section uh, you can have a short message to the sr or your manager make sure that, that you double check your dates before you are continuing here you will see the attachment option as well so if you want to attach any, any files or any media over here you can definitely do it by clicking on the select files option once you are done uh, tap on this submit option here in the bottom and the app will show you a confirmation message that your resignation request has been sent for approval it is now in the pending review by your manager or the hr team now once you go back to the home page and tap on the inbox icon under submitted option or the my tasks option you will see your resignation request if it shows in progress until it is reviewed and approved once it is approved successfully you will also get a confirmation message or the email so let's assume that you are resigning uh, effective next friday so you can select that date and choose the career change as the reason and leave a note like thank you for the opportunity and uh, moving to the new role after submitting you are done and this is much easier than filling out any kind of paper forms or emailing back and forth so once it is approved successfully your hr team might reach out you with the exit interview details or the final steps like uh, handling over the assets emailing the deactivation or the final pay processing uh, everything else like uh, the access changes uh, will be handled by the IT and the HR departments and that's how you can resign using the 
Workday mobile application. If this video helped you out, make sure that you give this video a like, subscribe for more helpful content and also drop a comment below if you need further assistance. Thanks for watching. I, I will see you in the next one.